We've seen how we can enable or disable any of our customer notification emails as well as our administrative notification emails. Let's take a look now at how to customize the content of these emails. We'll do this with our order confirmation email. And to get started, we click the edit button. Now, if you're not familiar with HTML, this may look pretty confusing to you right now. And for the most part, you shouldn't edit these emails if you're not familiar with HTML. However, even if you're not familiar with HTML, there are some things that you can safely edit without causing a disaster. So as we look at this email template, as we call it, all of this colored text, whether it's green, blue, red, this is called markup. And it essentially tells the email client how to lay out this information and what it should look like visually. Here and there though, as we scroll through this email template, we see some dark gray text, which has human readable text. And this is the text that the recipient of the email is going to see the actual text that they're going to be reading literally. So for instance, right here, we see in dark gray, we have received your insert store name order. Thank you for your purchase. When we look at that, it's pretty obvious that that's an actual message that the recipient is going to read. Same here for thank you for your insert store name order. And then we see this elsewhere, order, payment status, pickup date and time. And we can find this in several other places as well. If we want to edit the wording of our email, we can safely edit any of this dark gray text as long as we don't do anything to the color text, such as accidentally delete a little character here or there. As long as we're careful, we can edit this. And before you edit this, whether you know HTML or not, I always, always, always recommend that you save a backup, which is very easy to do. Simply highlight all of the text in your email template, copy it, paste it in some plain text file. Don't use Microsoft Word or anything like that. Use Notepad, or if you're on Mac OS X, text edit, something, a plain text editor, and then just save it with a name that you can recognize. So that way, if we make a mistake, all we have to do is delete everything, come back here, copy it all from our backup file and paste it in here and we'll be just fine. So just to demonstrate this, let's take a very simple example. I've already made my backup as we've seen. And instead of hello, insert customer name, let's say we want it to maybe sound a little bit more personable, a little bit more friendly. And we wanna say, hi, a little bit more casual. All we do is delete hello, type in hi. Make sure we save our changes. And then up here, we can preview the template or send a test email. And we see here, Instead of hello, customer name, it says hi, customer name. And again, you can do this with any text that's in dark gray that you wanna change the wording of. Of course, if you do know HTML and you wanna dive a little bit deeper and change the layout and so forth, you're free to essentially edit this however you want. Obviously be careful, make sure you know what you're doing. And once again, keep a backup. Finally, if we click view template documentation, and again, this also is for the slightly more advanced users. This documentation gives us all of the available variables that we can use in our email template. The name of the product, the SKU of the product, list of ordered products, customer's email, customer's name, all of that information and how to access it is available here. Again, if you're not sure what this means, just ignore this. You don't have to worry about it. This is just for those who are a little bit more technical and may want to do a little bit deeper customization of their notification emails. Once you're done, if you haven't saved, make sure you click the save button, which will be right up here. And you can go back to your email notification screen at any time by clicking that button. And then we're done. So not only do we have the ability to select what types of email notifications our customers will receive, but we also have the ability to edit our templates and deeply customize them essentially any way we want.